Many people all around the world are looking forward to leaving 2020 behind and starting with a clean slate come 2021. One of the ways people start fresh is setting New Year's resolutions for themselves. But according to estimates, less than 8% of people actually stick to their resolutions each year. Here to talk about this further is New York City-based neuropsychologist Dr. Sanam Hafiz, who is also a faculty member at the Columbia University Teachers College. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Good morning. Good morning. So this pandemic has caused a lot of anxiety and loneliness for so many people, especially with some companies laying off workers as a result of the pandemic. What are some ways people can become motivated and feel positive come 2021? You know, there's so many ways to um, start the new year right, but this year is definitely going to give us some challenges. I mean, you know, let's not undermine what's happened this year to so many people and people losing jobs and the financial hardships. You know, the one thing I always tell people when it comes to, you know, starting the new year right is to make resolutions and set goals that are attainable, that are achievable. So when you say something, you know, like I'm going to, you know, I'm going to become a vegan. Or I'm going to lose 20 pounds. You know, that kind of stuff is hard to do overnight. And so when you set really um, grand goals, there's a better chance that you're going to fail at them rather than setting incrementals, more attainable, smaller goals. And on that note, as you pointed out, well, data shows around 92% of people who set New Year's resolutions fail to complete or achieve them. Why is it that so many people fail to keep up with their resolutions? Because it's unreal, they're, they're often unrealistic. Um, people's goals or people's aspirations are not necessarily based in reality. So if, you know, someone says, I'm going to work out, you know, an hour a day, but you've got a full-time job and kids and you've got to cook, you know, there's a good chance you're not going to get to work out in, you know, an hour a day. But if you say, you know, I'm going to start taking the stairs at work, um, or I'm going to start like going for a walk after dinner around my block, or I'm going to just do 20 dump jumping jacks before I start the day. Now, those are much more attainable, realistic goals, and you're more likely to see results because you're doing something consistently, something that's easy, that fits around your schedule. And the more results you see, the more, um, you know, bolstered and encouraged you become to do more. So that's the beauty of, uh, of setting smaller, realistic goals. Reminds me of micro resolutions where, as you said, it's much more attainable and it definitely forms a habit. Now, as a neuropsychologist, what tips do you have to keep one's mental health in check? You know, uh, this, the, the things that I've been sort of suggesting all year are still the tips that I think are going to work in the new year. And it's, you know, be kind to yourself. Um, don't put unrealistic, undue pressure on yourself because that's when we raise our expectations and don't meet them. Um, you know, little things like trying to meditate a few minutes a day, trying to exercise, um, something as simple as, like I said, 20 jumping jacks, you know, in the morning, 20 jumping jacks in the afternoon, um, reading a book, you know, having a set call or um, a Zoom call, a FaceTime call with a loved one, your mom, your brother, your best friend, your, um, you know, anyone, your boyfriend, anyone just having a direct um, and consistent contact with loved ones is so important. Most people are just lonely. They miss social connections. Um, and people are worried about the future. People are worried about whether I'm going back to school. Am I going to get my job back? Am I going to find another job? Um, and so working on a skill, you know, take an online class, beef up that resume, you know, just invest in yourself, invest in your mental health, invest in your future, and things will start to improve slowly. I mean, look, and, and I think the biggest thing we all have to remember is so little is in our control when it comes to this pandemic, you know, in the, in the greater global sense. I mean, what can you do every day? You know, that's in your control. But in the greater global sense, this thing hit us out of nowhere. And, you know, now that we're actually going to move forward with the vaccine and masks being more, uh, you know, readily available and, and accepted, I think we're going to have a better new year. I mean, I think I'm optimistic about it. And I think I have every reason to be. And lastly, where can our viewers go to learn more about you and your work? Um, I can be found on the uh, internet at www.comprehendthemind.com or on Instagram at Dr. Sanam Hafiz. And for our viewers watching, that link is at the bottom of your screen. Dr. Sanam Hafiz, thank you so much again for your time. Some great advice. Thank you. Happy New Year. Thank you. Happy New Year to you, too.
Want to see more videos like this? Visit OANN.com for immediate access to all the clips you've been waiting to see.